What's up guys, this is Preheat. So I'm still here in LA for the race world first, but I wanted to quickly get out a video about some of the tuning that they had for Mage and for Evoker because, uh, you know, this is some news for you. Uh, of course, these changes are now live. So if you're watching this video, um, just know that everything I'm talking about is actually in the game right now. And I know I'm a couple days late on this, but obviously I've been pretty busy, you know, casting the race world first. So uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so first off, uh, I'm going to start with Mage News. So Mage News is pretty simple to talk about. They just buffed everything across the board. So Fire has significant buffs uh, to Pyroblast, to Ignite, to Fire Blast, Fireball Scorch. This is all pretty big. Obviously, the Ignite buff isn't as big, right? Just a 5% buff there. Uh, but the Pyroblast damage and Fireballs, everything here is like single target, right, for the most part. But it does cause Ignite, which then can spread around. And uh, I think with these buffs, uh, Fire is definitely looking very good. Um, obviously it's not going to be like arcane tier good, right? Just because the tier is just really good for arcane. You've got really good damage amps. Uh, arcane can also pair really well with like blessing of the summer, PI, other stuff like that. Fire can too, to a certain extent, but nothing quite touches arcane burst. So I don't think this is going to make arcane like not the meta. Arcane is still just very, very strong, right? But it does mean that fire has a fighting chance. And I've seen some really good logs of fire mages doing a ton of damage. So I definitely think that if you just prefer fire, if you just don't like the playstyle of arcane, especially if you're not getting like blessing of summer and you're not getting, uh, you know, other externals like that, playing fire is is a fine option, right? And uh, you know, if you prefer that playstyle, having a cheat death is also pretty great. <laughs> so yeah, definitely go check out fire mage and uh, especially mythic plus. I think it's going to do really well. Uh, Frost also got pretty significant buffs. We've got ice lance buffs, flurry, frost bolt, glacial spike. This is this is the oddball, right? Glacial spike. So you're not. Glacial Spike is still not happening. Sorry, it's just the damage isn't there. Like, you can play it in, you know, PvP. It's quite good because it roots. Uh, but Glacial Spike as a talent, like, even if you select a talent and you don't even use the ability, it, it's a damage loss, right? Like, picking the Glacial Spike talent decreases your damage just by how it's designed. Too much of your damage comes from Icicles. Having your Icicles be part of Glacial Spike is just not as good as just firing them off with Ice Lance. Everything else is getting buffed here. So unfortunately, still skip on Glacial Spike, but everything else is looking good. And then, of course, we have a Splitting Ice buff as well. But I mean, really and truly, like the biggest thing for Frost is just that Icicles are just way too strong, right? They're just, Icicles are doing so much of your damage. So make sure that you're second at Mastery. Make sure you're, uh, you know, going into Mythic Plus and doing those big pulls. But um, yeah, I don't know. Frost is looking really good. Fire is looking really good. The biggest thing I'll say is if you're looking to maybe change to Fire or Frost, just be aware that like, the, your secondaries actually matter quite a bit as these two, right? For Arcane, it doesn't really matter that much. You can kind of just play whatever because you just want Intellect and Item level. But for Fire, you definitely want a lot of Haste. There's no specific amount you need, right? It's not like there's a special number that's that just makes everything work. Um, I would just say that you, you want Haste to be like your biggest stat, right? So like in my case, on my Evoker right now, um, you know, if I'm looking at my secondaries, my Mastery is like, like 4,800. Um, and then my haste is at like 3000. So like you would want haste to be at this level, right? So if you're, if you're equally geared, like my character, um, you'd want your haste to be like roughly around 5,000 or so or higher, but that's just with that item level. Obviously there's no specific amount. You just want as much haste as possible. And then you want to dodge crit. You kind of just want to stack verse and mastery after haste, uh, for frost, it's still going to be mastery. You just want a whole bunch of mastery, but I don't think it's as important with frost to have like specifically one or the other, but definitely, uh, you know, if you're playing Frost, especially for single target, make sure that you're, you know, getting those good stats in there. If you want more information on how Mage is stacking up, uh, I always recommend Mage Hub. This is uh, Toe Grinder's website. If you want to go check out, uh, like, how the profiles are set up, you just click HTML. You can click on a specific profile. You can even scroll down and then click gear and then see, like, what the character is wearing. You can click profile and see what the stats are, right? So in this case, like, it looks like a even distribution, right? of all the stats. Uh, anyways, always sim your own character for the best results. Don't do the stat weight sim, do the uh, the top gear sim. If you aren't familiar with that, if you just go to raid bots, right, and you go uh, click on the top gear one, just paste in your sim crafting. You can just download sim craft add-on, just paste it in here. It'll put in all your bag stuff and then you can just select whichever items you want and then you can click simulate and it'll tell you what the best setup is. That's always gonna be the best way to figure out what stats are best for you. And you can do this as different specs, right? And then just look at the results and kind of compare and contrast them. Uh, but anyways, back to the news. So yeah, Fire Mage buffs, Frost Mage buffs. Somehow Arcane dodged a nerf. Like Arcane just didn't get nerfed. I'm not sure like how this managed to happen. Um, but uh, hey, I'm here for it, right? Like obviously Rogues and Enhanced and Shaman and everyone else in shambles with their 3% nerfs. Meanwhile, Arcane is somehow dodging all that uh they're just bringing fire and frost up to it so you know the one tier i don't play mage 
Ah, uh, go figure. Uh, anyways, yeah, Mage is looking really, really good this tier. Hopefully, everyone's enjoying it. I've been having fun on my alt. Uh, but yeah, so fire is viable, frost is viable. Definitely go check out all the specs. But if you really are doing like that cutting edge stuff, and you have the externals available, for, uh, Arcane is still going to be king. Okay, moving on. So we have Evoker stuff. So Evoker got one buff. It has here this disintegrate damage increased by fifteen percent. So depending on your, like your character setup, you might have a different amount of damage that you do with disintegrate, right? Obviously, if you're doing AOE, disintegrate's not really going to be that impactful. But um, in like single target, usually it's around like thirty-six to forty percent of your damage. Just kind of depends on what your trinkets are, what your stats are, if you have the staff or not. That's those sort of things. But um, yeah, this is a pretty significant buff. It's usually around like five to six percent increase, somewhere in that range. Um, and uh, it, it's mostly just for single target. This does not affect scintillation, right? So it's not eternity surge damage. This is just disintegrate. Uh, but it is a, it's still a meaningful buff. And um, yeah, still loving it. I'm just, I'm still over here. Like, why haven't they fixed the eternity surge and the disintegrate bugs? Like, why haven't they fixed those? It's, it's just, it kind of blows my mind that those two bugs are still in the game because they've been in here all of beta, right? Of course, what I'm referring to is like whenever you eternity surge and you press it. And if, uh, like this one went off, but like sometimes if you do that, it just doesn't go off for some reason, which is really frustrating. I still have this bug happen all the time. Like it happens literally every raid. I have Eternity Surge bugging out or Fire Breath bu bugging out where you empower it and just it just doesn't go off for some reason. Um, or, you know, you uh, you press Disintegrate and it just doesn't go off as well because it's like on cooldown for some weird reason, even though you have the essence for it. I really hope they look into some of these Evoker bugs because it is getting a bit tired to still have these bugs in the game. Um, but there are some things that they're looking at. Um, if we scroll up here to the very top, uh, or maybe it's not on this page, but there was, here this fix an issue where Pyre would occasionally not cast despite having enough essence. Do this for disintegrate. I never noticed when Pyre is bugged like this, but I notice it all the time when disintegrate is bugged like this. So what the heck? Like, I feel like they did the wrong spell here. <laughs> I mean, I, I've had it happen with Pyre. Like it's pretty rare, but it does happen. But come on, disintegrate, disintegrate still in the fix. Please, Blizzard, if you're watching this video, please fix Disintegrate. Please fix Eternity Surge. Please fix Fire Breath. These Evoker bugs are driving me crazy. And everyone else who's playing Evoker is being driven crazy as well. Um, but yeah, overall, though, uh, obviously very happy with these changes, especially the mage stuff. Uh, you know, love to see Fire and Frost, you know, doing well. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of mages are going to be very excited to play Fire in the coming weeks. Uh, and of course, you know, Evoker buffs, love to see it. Maybe, maybe give us a little bit more later down the line, right? Maybe a little bit more as well, but... Uh, you know, I honestly am pretty happy with it and I can't really complain too much. So yeah, keep up the great work and just fix the bugs. That's all I ask. Just, you know, the attorney search bug is especially the one that's driving me crazy. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like. If you want to see more of my content, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.